Today we're going to be diving into the hottest note-taking applications right now. These are new applications and interesting ones that are gaining some traction in the market and might be your next note-taking application or tool to assist your daily productivity. So we're going to dive through all of these and all of the links will be linked below if you're interested. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco D'Alessio. Welcome to Toolfinder. If you're interested in subscribing for more, there'll be a link down here to subscribe. But naturally, if you're interested in getting a free report of the best ranked note-taking apps, or you want a buyer's guide, then you can find the link below. You'll get both of those in an email and naturally explore the best productivity tools out there. Our first one is Google Notebook LM. Now this one is a originally a research project by Google, but now has a lot of sort of traction behind it. Lots of people using it because of a variety of different features in it. You can use this application for free and experimentally with a Google account. And essentially all you do is bring together your sources. That could be a PDF, a YouTube video, a website, or a copied piece of text, and you can add up to 50 sources. Once you've got that, it's gonna pull all of those bits of information together and then essentially create a guide for you, allowing you to have a chatbot experience with all of those sources in mind. And it works as a great way for study and revision, but it goes that step further with something called Notebook Guide, which doesn't just formalize all of the information as part of the sources, but it also creates a podcast between two people, AI people, about the information that you've uploaded. So if you've uploaded a bunch of informational research guides, then what it's gonna do is help you to learn that through a retrospective look at all of the sources. Now this is a great tool and is growing in popularity. It is probably not going to be in the form that it's going to be in now, but it will likely be ported over to something like Google Keep, Google Docs, or another Google service, or maybe even released as its own app. But a very interesting one at that, and has got a lot of eyes and attention on this application at the moment. Number two is Notta. Now this one is a interesting AI meeting tool, but a lot of people are moving to these meeting tools as a note-taking experience. Essentially what it does is you can start speaking to it, bringing it into your calls if you want to, and it'll start transcribing everything that happens as you're speaking. Now, this is not only great because it summarizes that information, shares the meeting highlights, and allows you to do that through Slack, so that team element's there. There is that collaboration ability as well, but for individuals that are looking to organize their ideas and thoughts, these sort of AI note-taking applications are becoming incredibly popular. Now, Notta, much more suitable for collaboration, but at the same time can be used for individuals to help bring ideas together and capture them instead of you know pouring out hours and hours typing up notes which is definitely a big shift in the way that note taking is happening right now now next one is called x tiles i'm set to do a review on this one soon but very simply x tiles is sort of like notion it looks like it but i would say a much more structured version of notion it has a lot of abilities like the ability to schedule build your tiles account uh, in terms of like a bit like notion with widgets like notepads checklists items that you can bring in for other applications calendar experiences and much more and there are loads of templates to help get you started organizing your productivity now this one is free but there are premium experiences and x -Tiles has been gaining a lot of attention for those who want a notion alternative to be honest it's not as well finished as Notion, but it will be an interesting alternative on the market if you're looking to plan better. Next up is AnyType. I've mentioned AnyType quite a lot here on the channel, and that's because it's quite interesting. You can get a free lesson to AnyType below if you're interested in exploring it more. But AnyType is a note-taking application with a difference. It's got objects as its core structure. And the concept of object-based note-taking is a really interesting one. It essentially allows you to create an object and build a note from it. So think book notes, author, potentially even people you meet, etc., etc. Now this idea is really interesting because you can start framing your account as things that are in your life, not just notes that have been taken. So this is a really interesting application and they're introducing better database abilities, I think, in the near future. But you can manage your tasks in here too. I've got my eye on any type and mainly a lot of people are fancying it at the moment because it's got this local first ethos with open code, open source, markdown, and naturally peer-to-peer -peer network experience as well. So a lot of people looking at it for that secure version of a note-taking experience they might want. And finally, whilst it's not a note-taking application, it will take your note-taking app to the next level that I've not seen before. Now, 
Number five is Forever Notes. This is a framework and a concept that you can apply on top of Apple Notes that essentially takes your Apple Notes and brings it into a concept a bit like bullet journaling by Ryder Carroll, where you can formalize it to do calendar, to manage your projects, and also to manage your tasks and goals. And it really does take your Apple Notes and makes it more of, how do you say it, more of a useful experience instead of it being a sort of disconnected account for managing different things. So if you're looking to maybe keep an Apple Notes but you don't want a formalized structure of it, then naturally you can get it and explore it in more detail. This is something I'm considering making a full course on or diving into in a separate video. So do make sure you're subscribed here on the channel. So those are just five note-taking tools that are gaining my attention on the market. And of course, if you want to explore more notes note-taking tools, you can jump over to toolfinder.co below to explore loads of them. Honestly, guys, there are a bit too much. <laughs> and if you want that free guide and free ranked note-taking applications, you can find it linked below. So thank you very much, and I'll see you all very soon in a future video. Cheerio!